Hi guys, Berry Babe here, checking in. Been a while. Um, I think last time I was on, I was taking a run and try at P3 uh, Keto. No, didn't make it. <laughs> and I've kind of been on again, off again ever since. There was one, one time I did a couple days sublingual HCG and then back to eating. So. Um, my LDW was 145, even though my ultimate goal is 140 to get back there. Um, today I was 156 something. And I keep thinking, okay, tomorrow I'm going to start HCG. Tomorrow I'm going to start HCG. But I've been having so much trouble. Andy, you just texted me. <laughs> Distracted me. Sorry, guys. Squirrel. Um, it's so warm out here today and I just got home I um, and then I think oh I want to exercise and I can't really do that on P2 because I want to firm up because I see the weddings July 15th my daughters uh, I see my surgeon July 22 and then the surgery for my back lift is August 4th so I really wanted to tone up and tighten up a little bit before then but I, I went downstairs once last week and got on the treadmill in 30 minutes and then the bike kicked my butt. I could hardly stand up afterwards. I'm so out of shape. I've been doing HCG too long because you don't have to exercise when you do HCG. So that's my weight update one of these days. The trouble is my dress fits okay and it's almost too big at 145. But I need to be back to 142-ish when I see the doctor. So I have a week after the wedding. So it's not ADHD crunch time yet, guys. <laughs> I wanna show you, I have new, for, for my trailer, you know my little trailer reno? It's little trailers and it's got my aqua and it's got flamingos. Um, just a yard. I think it was, it was handmade by one of those Etsy artists and it was pretty expensive so I just got a yard I'll either put it on the door or I'll make some pillow covers um, for it but uh, because my interior colors are aqua kind of a gray aqua and mauve and kind of a hot pink in the carpet with then turquoise accents and the inside is all white gel coat so it's it's coming along a little bit they got the door rehung They've got the floor in front where the rain had rotted it fixed. They, um, there was a hole in the back where the table had been and the water had come in. It had been vandalized in storage and the water had collected there and rotted so they've been fixing that. Now they're starting to work on the electrical system. And I'm fortunate enough that my husband's buddy is a retired electrician. So he has never done 12 volt but I just happened to have a book I bought I was going to try to figure it out, but mm -mm. not putting solar in this one. Um, but I do want to put solar in the van I want to do next. My husband's talking about his van and my van. But we still have one kid, even though, even though the youngest one gets married and has her own car now, her own on her own money, on her own insurance car, um, we still have our oldest that's back and forth and in and out enough. We have to keep the car for when she comes home. But beyond that, oh, uh, <laughs> for those of you that are interested in how the centerpieces are coming, if the job is a yardstick, I've got about an inch and a quarter done. <laughs> yeah, ADHD gives me energy, so that'll be coming. But um, I wanna say hey to Ashley, whom I met today at, um, Golden Corral. What am I doing going to Golden Corral? Um, it, you know, in a way, I feel sorry for this poor girl. Um, you know, can you imagine running into me and striking up a casual conversation? Can I do casual? <laughs> and you want to know the story, my story of my weight loss that I've been working at since I was five years old? How much time have you got? So, um, I always go to I don't know if you, this is an old Ryan, so I don't know how the Golden Corrals are set up, but 
uh, in other places, but there's a way, there's a room in the back that's private. And usually my husband and I go way to the back and sit against that wall. And so that's where I headed today, went by myself. He's uh, out and around helping a friend. And um, sitting on my left, right across the aisle, was a young woman and um, hadn't gotten my book out yet. So I was just kind of getting settled and she was on the phone. And it's real hard not to hear. She was on the phone with her mother and I was trying not to eavesdrop, but I kept picking up things that piqued my interest. Um, she talked about having been in Virginia. Well, you know, that's where my brother is. And um, then she talked about being frustrated because she'd put on so much weight and she was gonna go to the health food store and get some things because she was feeling so poorly because she'd put on so much weight. And then she talked about that she'd been to her, she was on the phone to her mother sleeping in her car and she was thinking about getting a motel for the night. Well, it is hot here. And this is the second day that it's been hot, hot, hot. So, um, and I've been watching a lot of vlogs about people who live full time in their vehicles. And so three things. So when she got off the phone, it was like, I can't, <laughs> no, you shouldn't have been listening. You're not going to butt into her business. Okay. So, um, she got up and went to get some more food and she came back and they, I hadn't realized it, but they had cleared her place. And I said, you know, she, she made some comment when she came back and I said, I looked over, I said, whoa, they kind of hustling you out. So she sat down again and then after a little while, um, she looked over and said something about real interesting your array of food, something like that. And I look around and I've got tons, I get a lot, I pick up the little dishes and I put butter in this one and something else in this one and something else in this one instead of just taking one plate. In the beginning, I always take the tray. And today I went right before four o'clock because you get senior discount. You get your, you get a lunch rate for a senior with a free drink because I, I don't want to pay dinner rates, but everything was really dried out. So I ended up leaving a lot of stuff. So the, you know, the little bowls and the little plates just kept collecting. And I just, I, it just kind of like, I looked, I said, yeah, you know, and then we got talking about, I said, um, Knowing, I, knowing how she had had weight issues, I said, you know, I can sit here now with this array of food and not be embarrassed. But when, you know, I, we started talking about that I had lost weight and I said sitting here as a fat woman would have been a whole different experience. And she just, she just kind of kept looking at me like, like, oh, you know, I, yeah, I, I'm a lot. So um, I told her that was the same place, if you remember the ice cream story where I had just really been creating this perfect ice cream cone. And I said, yeah, it's a, it's a whole different sitting here as a thin woman doing this and sitting here as a fat woman. And she said, that's why I picked this seat way at the back. She said, because I didn't want anybody, I'm feeling fat and I don't want anybody to see me eating. Something like that. And I said, have you looked around? I said, most of the people who come to this place are fat. I said, especially for dinner. <laughs> and it's true. Um, I said, if I had wanted to be on my diet, I'd been down the street at Five Guys <laughs> getting a burger, which is keto. So then she wanted to know how I did it. <laughs> how do you tell somebody you've just met? It's like, I said, oh, you're gonna be sorry that you asked. So I gave her, you know, the thumbnail, um, and we talked a little more. And um, she'd never heard of HCG, and she'd never heard of keto. Well, how do you, how do you tell anybody what that means, you know, in a five-minute casual conversation? So finally, she decided she needed to go, and and uh, so I gave her. I says, "Would you like, the, would you like the name of my YouTube channel?" She looked at me. She says, "You have a YouTube." <laughs> I said, yeah. So I gave her, you know, I, she went to find a pen and I wrote it on the, the waitress always gives you a little card and we had gotten the new waitress. So I took the old waitress's card and wrote it on there. So, hey, Ashley, um, I'm going to tell you my email, Gmail, um, because if you don't have a YouTube channel, I don't know if you can comment to, in order to give me your email. Uh, it's hcg 
Berry Babe. Just let me channel at gmail.com. And if you want to email me, I'll have a conversation with you. I'll meet you for lunch, although it may be a Five Guys or Halo Burger, because hopefully I'll be on my eating plan by then. So I don't know what tomorrow brings. I don't know what, well, tomorrow I have lunch with the girls again, dinner with the girls. One of us couldn't come the last time, so we decided to only wait two weeks. But we're going to a place where I can get a plain old hamburger patty. And my friend Cheryl will be there. And as far as I know, she is still doing low carb, doing well. And um, then, what? Oh, I have to go back to the cardiologist to get my surgery clearance. I was there last week and the doctor got called out to an emergency. I'm not sure I believe that. I think he just had a hot lunch date. So I went all the way over there and paid my money and filled out my how I was doing form. And then I didn't want to wait on a maybe that he might come back. Um, and so I have to go, I think Thursday. And then Friday is my soon to be son-in-law's white coat ceremony at East Lansing um, in the uh, medical school. My daughter got into her new apartment. It's darling. Um, she had her second wedding shower at the Will Be Mother-in-Law's and it was very nice. The, the aunt's house is gorgeous, gorgeous on a lake, just gorgeous. It was very nice. Um, and things are moving along. So I hope the next time I come on, I've had a big whoosh and I'm feeling it. Um, but I'm not feeling it today. So, oh, <laughs> when Ashley said she sits way at the back, so people don't see her eat. I didn't tell her that I sit way at the back because I steal dinner rolls. <laughs> just, I can tell you that now, but I wasn't going to admit that while, while we were sitting there because you'd be wondering if I had rolls in my purse. I don't think I did then, but shortly after you left, I think they went in. <laughs> what can I say? So hopefully the, the people from Golden Corral won't be watching this. So that's all for now, you guys. I hope you're doing well. I know that there are some new HCG vloggers on. Um, I know that a lot of the old crowd is not vlogging, but I do just want to check in with you anyway. So bye for now.